double risk it. Why am I doing that? Because of the confusion in time zones. This is New York, this is LA. Oh, look, LA, it's quarter to three. Oh, New York, it's quarter to six. <laughs> Welcome what? to an exclusive update on Kevin O'Leary's legendary watch collection, where opulence meets precision. Today, we spotlight three extraordinary pieces, the Rolex Rainbow, the Rolex Puzzle, and the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak covered in rubies. First, the Rolex Rainbow Daytona, a masterpiece of craftsmanship. This watch dazzles with its rainbow-colored sapphire bezel and diamond-encrusted case, a symbol of luxury and rarity. Retailing for upwards of $300,000, its value only appreciates reflecting its demand among elite collectors. The rainbow. Now, why is the rainbow? You know, 10 years ago, you could walk into a Rolex dealer and buy one of these. Forget about it now, not a chance, not a chance. The waiting list for this is years because all the guys in sports, whether you're baseball or hockey or basketball, they gotta have one of these pieces. Now, this is a beautiful rose gold rainbow. And you know, the whole idea of the rainbow is a jewelry representing all the different colors of light. It's beautiful. Now, when you go, I the tiger on the left, New York time, and rainbow on the right with LA time, <laughs> I've seen grown men weep. I'm not kidding. Grown men weep in the presence of these two watches together. Next, the enigmatic Rolex puzzle. Custom designed for Mr. Wonderful himself, this watch combines the art of horology with the intrigue of a puzzle. Its bespoke nature makes it a unique treasure. It's the Rolex puzzle. There's only three of them known in North America right now. Here's the story, all right? Now, first of all, when I heard about this watch and I saw the videos, I thought it was AIBS. I thought it was some kind of April Fool's joke. Rolex would never make a watch like this with no day on it, no date, and just emojis and little sayings like peace and harmony. No way they would do that. That's not Rolex, they're too conservative. When I heard this was real, I went out of my mind, like every other collector did all around the world. Everybody wants a puzzle. So, the rumor for North America's Yep, John Mayer got the white gold, all right? Brady, the famous quarterback. Now, Mayer's a musician. Brady is, of course, world-famous quarterback. He's got the rose gold, and this is the yellow gold. Rolex is brilliant. They gave one to an entrepreneur investor, that's me, sports guy who's got millions of followers. Mayer's got millions of followers. We all have millions of followers, and we're having fun on social media with this. This is bringing in the new generation of fun-loving Rolex collectors. I think that was what they're thinking about. Watching Wonders last year, this thing got announced. The world's gone crazy for this. They'll make more, but who knows when and where they're gonna show up. The demand in Asia is insatiable. Now, I would not put a red band on this, obviously, because the presidential bracelet is so beautiful. And it is my LA watch today. So on the left, the Creed or amazing blue dial. On the right, the puzzle. <laughs> Let's check the time. Oh, it's two minutes after six in New York. I wonder what time it is in LA. Oh, it's two minutes after three. Thank goodness I've got a Credor and the puzzle from Rolex. Now, if I have to worry about the time in Abu Dhabi, I'm gonna have to put one on my left ankle, which I'm gonna do soon. Lastly, the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak covered in rubies. This watch redefines luxury with its bezel and case adorned in the finest rubies. The video that I first showed this piece in, where I start to cry, that was real. Those were not crocodile tears. This is a one-of-a-kind AP, open works. Yep, a royal oak covered in rubies with a red band. The only one in the world with a red band. You know why? This is a Shark Tank piece. Now, I don't wear this out ever, really. I just use it on Shark Tank, but my goodness, it is so beautiful, this piece. So stunning, so spectacular. What a dial. You know, I almost want to cry right now again. That's, that's the problem with this thing. It's so, you know, th this whole idea of, of, think about open dials and open works and skeleton watches. This is a new phenomenon. This is not, you, you didn't find a lot of this 50 years ago. People, when they first saw them said, that looks weird, what's the matter with that watch? But now you can see the beauty of the actual maker's work. And I think that's what make, makes a watch like this so spectacular. So screw down crown, and just watching the movement itself, 
And of course, this is a custom red minute sweep. You'll never see that in 8D. You see it here. Beautiful. I would say even just five years ago, you would not see a lot of men wearing a lot of bling. That's all changed. If you look at the new pieces, like take Rolex, for example, take even Patek Philippe, anybody, they're blinging it out. And why is that? Because guys like to be flashy and they like to be trashy. And that's where you go with an eye of the tiger. Ichi wawa caramba. It doesn't get any flashier or trashier. You can't even read the time on this. You need sunglasses. There's so many diamonds on this thing, but it is beautiful and it's so well crafted. I mean, the work that Rolex does with jewelers, and of course the timepieces are amazing. And as always, the red band. This is my Shark Tank box right here. Practically everything has a red band on it, with the exception of two pieces we'll talk about. So, I the Tiger, Ichiwawa Karamba. Remember, Patek Philippe, so conservative. And then they come out with the loose. <laughs> this is their version of a rainbow. It's just beautiful. And by the way, that red band, that red band, that's factory, which means they made it for Mr. Wonderful. Why else would they send to North America a red band, Patek? It's Mr. Wonderful for sure. Now, when I saw the rumor of this watch, I immediately started making calls saying, if there anybody has waited forever for a factory red band on a Patek Philippe, it's gotta be me. And there you have it. Now, the reason I bring that up is let's take a classic. This is the 5711 Patek. Genta design, steel, thin, now legendary. Why they stopped making it? Another watch grown men weep for. The blue dial so historic, the clean look of 5711. There's also a version of this that Tiffany puts a stamp on that sells for millions. It's the same watch though, it's the 5711. Now, you cannot put a red band on this, so I never wear it on Shark Tank, I never wear it on TV, but I do put it on my right hand for LA Time, and it's a beautiful piece, a 5711. You can recognize it 20 yards away in a room. When I see a 5711, I nod my head to the person who's wearing it. Lots of women like the 5711 too, but a great travel piece, a wonderful watch, a beautiful gentle design, just love it. Kevin O'Leary's collection is more than just timepieces. It's a portfolio of art, history, and investment. Each watch tells a story, a moment in time captured in luxury and precision. Stay tuned for more updates as we continue to explore the fascinating world of Mr. Wonderful's watch collection.